Welcome back to another video. I am so excited because we are about to build up my Suron. We have got loads of new parts over here. We've got some new bars, front fender, back fender, pegs, mud guard. We got it all. We've been wanting to make upgrades for a little while now. It's finally time we can put a bit of work in on them now. We have already completely built mine up yesterday when all of the parts arrived. But we're not going to show you that until the end of the video because that would just ruin it. It is yeah, looking it is, look. fresh. Give it, give it. Look, ready? All right, that's all you're going to get. That's all so you're going to get. That's all you're getting for now. You've got to wait until the end of the video to see what it looks like built up. But I tell you, we have got some good parts to put on these bad boys. Right, Lon, you know what time it is. Let's put these parts on. Let's go. Hey, look, I talk my shit and keep it honest, keep it in the I hear him hating, but that's only cause they inconsistent He said the weapon wouldn't prosper, not it wouldn't form I'm by the golf, I hit the middle when it's good and warm I got the million dollar motors, I've been getting to it I got the shit that First part, we are getting the extended back fender put on So, actually in this video I'm gonna show you how to do these parts and stuff as well On the back of the seat, there's these little clips You just need to get a screwdriver underneath them and pry them out. So there's six, three on each side, just need to pry them out. Once you've got all of these out, you've got to unscrew this light. This is fine also because I need to take this off to put the mud flap on as well. These bikes, trust me, they look like proper dirt bikes when we put all these parts on. And obviously we're putting the bars on with more rise, better for wheelies. I haven't even been out on my bike yet with the new parts. I'm waiting for him. After this, dark or not, I'm getting out and mashing work. 100%. Right, so when this is all off, this bit actually just comes right down. And then, as you can see under here, there's two bolts that's holding the fender on there. You need to unscrew them. Take the fender off, put the new one in, do them back up, screw this back in, and it's all done. Finally! Ready? Oof. Let's get this stick off. <laughs> fender is done. What do you think people? Back fender? I reckon it's worth it. And if you're wondering how much the back fenders are, £30. That's the thing, we've waited out a bit to get parts. So we've just bought them all at once. And if you notice, we haven't gone for like a big upgrade like new forks or brakes or whatever we've just gone for little parts like a new fender it all adds up because it's like 30 pound 30 pound yeah. but we thought it would make big difference to our bike if we just go for these kind of parts rather than spending like 200 pound on brakes yeah. boom so we've just put the mud flap on what do you think of the mud flap some people are saying they don't think it's worth it some people like it i don't know what do you reckon i like it to be honest because it keeps all of this clean so i'll like... tell you who's chatting shit about the mud flap Who? marty marty mate ah! mud flap all the way marty sorry yeah, about that, that. Looks good. but i want to know what you guys think in the comments do you think the mud flap looks better worse i think it just adds a bit to the bike and obviously it's going to protect the mud gun in there next up gonna put the pegs on the pegs this makes a oh huge these pegs are so slippy all right let's have a look at these pegs bro they're so sharp i can't even get them out how much better are these pegs than them and these are so grippy like super super yeah. grippy and also go check our instagram because we are active all the time post stories everything go check it out and our tiktok as well at boris Dolony on both of them yeah, we're almost getting banned on TikTok though. That's why we take it easy on there. Pegs is one of my favorite upgrades. Yeah, 100%. So with these pegs, it's really fiddly because it's just, it's like a clip instead of a bolt. Back on just like that. 
Perfect. I wish though they came with this bit because like that's still silver. Yeah, that bit's silver. This bit isn't. But maybe we maybe we can buy some new ones. I don't. Know. I don't really mind it to be honest. Nah, it's, it's only a small part. You see how ungrippy these are? Like these are these aren't even grippy. I just want to ride with them now. What do you reckon? Bars next? I think it's got to be the bars Let's next. Do the bars. Ooh. These are clean. So we went for the 50 millimeter rise. You can go for 80 millimeter rise, but I think that's just too big. These are like a 30, maybe a 20. I don't know. But these, these look a lot better. Got a knock at the door. Amazon parcel. Zip ties. Oh. We needed these zip ties bad. Yes. One thing though, I think we should get possibly is a new stem because these strong stems, they're all right. But Marty, we put our old Hope one on his bike, and he said it does make a difference. So, what do you think, new stem? Look, this is what I'm saying about a new stem, is that. It's expensive, and I just don't know how much of a difference it makes. I think these upgrades for now are enough. But yeah, let us know regardless if you want us to get a stem. He wants to get one. I want to get a stem because when you're on the bike, you can see the stem. Like, yeah. it's something you actually notice. Old bars out. These new bars. I think this might be my favourite upgrade. Yeah. We'll see. Just ordered a cheeky Domino's. Coming soon. I want to see how they're right so bad. Yeah, me too. Got Marty yeah, out here. Yeah. What are you thinking of the bikes, sir? Fucking fresh. They're getting better, aren't they? Fresh. I'll tell you, people. This is the guy to blame for all these parts. He started getting me on the parts, and I just can't stop. I wonder my totem is an addiction. What's your next upgrade, though? I think I want them SM Pro wheels. Oh, he's going for the wheels. How much are they though? 550. 550. See, I I'm not dropping that. I, I, I might treat myself to a little rear fender, you know? The back fender, that's what I thought you were gonna say next part. Shout out to Marty, ride soon. My God. Right, in a bit, bro. <laughs> right, so the next thing we're doing, we've got better front plates. Get rid of this shitty one. Throw that there and look at this this is solid looks more like a dirt bike as well dominoes is here and it is pitch black outside so we are going to do the big reveal of the bikes tomorrow let's go we'll catch you then so we are out of the six strip in this car park with the upgraded surons So as you can see, these things are fully done. We have got the front fenders, front plate, pegs, handlebars, back fender. And the mud guard. And the mud guard, yeah, yeah. So we got Marty out here. Hey guys. He's gonna get some clips of us riding these bad boys. And we will see how they look.
sound a bit forced. The biggest thing that feels different on the bike is the front fender and the handlebars. Obviously the back fender, it looks sick in the clip so I have to watch them back. But it's more just a looks thing. Same with the mud flap. Pegs are feeling a lot more grippy to be fair. Yeah. What are you thinking of it? They're not. The bike feels a lot nicer to be honest. I still need to get used to the front fender but I'm getting pretty good on it. Yeah, it's weird having the front fender because you just can't see. It's a bit of a change but it's a better change. I'm certified, certain mattress off the yerba mate. She in a green velvet box to make it percolate. And I just hope they play me never and they play this forever. Put my family on so we can make it together. Gave my life to God and now he making it better. But just in case yeah, these upgrades. Yeah, sure. They're fucking cold, man. I wanna get one in there. I'm thinking of getting that. I've got the. You know, oh, right yeah. Bro, is that, that's the same as Solomon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I've got this one right now, but I might build an either an Enduro e bike. I'll get one of these. Boom. So, it is sadly the end of the video now. So, let us know in the comments what is your favorite upgrade we did to the bike. You know we're gonna be way more active on these things, so stay tuned and make sure you subscribe. Have you seen the progression though? All of us getting so much better. 100%. And we'll catch you in the next one.